Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Queen's Humble Kitchen, where I consider myself a queen, and every one of you ladies should as well. Look, today is going to be kind of fun. Last night on one of my um, Facebook cooking pages that I'm a member of, I got a challenge, a personal challenge. Uh, me and about nine other members of that page were challenged to do a dish with three special ingredients. Um, green beans, peppers, it didn't say what kind, it said we can use any kind of peppers, and chickpeas or garbanzo beans. And so, I had to sit back and think for myself, and I said, well, I wouldn't be uh, the queen of this humble kitchen if I didn't accept my very first challenge. And so I did, and the dish that I want to create is going to be a dish using, uh-oh. Ta-da! Fish fillets. So now, of course, you can use whatever fish fillet you want, but these are my catfish fillets because I love the flavor, uh, the sweetness, and the oiliness as well of catfish. And so, give me a minute and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do, everybody, is we're going to put this margarine in our pan so that it can go ahead and melt and heat up and everything. And this is a whole stick that I'm putting in here. And I'm just gonna swish it around a little bit so I can hurry up and melt. And I'm using this margarine because I, I want somewhat of a butter flavor, um, a salted butter flavor. Um, and so I'm just using this margarine. And now, next thing I'm going to take my catfish. I'm going to go ahead and put these fillets down in there. And this is going to be the only seasoning that I'm going to be using for these catfish, believe it or not. Because all of our seasoning is going to come from our little pepper and chickpea mixture. And now, oh, by the way, grab a pan. There are our green beans in my makeshift steamer. It's just a regular pot with a little bit of water in the bottom. And I put the fresh green beans in there. And um, I took a piece of aluminum foil and punched some holes in it. And I got it down on the very lowest temperature. And so they've been um, steaming for about um, 10 or 15 minutes already and uh, that's what I want and so I'm actually going to turn those off they are done and then I'm going to take this frying pan I'm going to get it heated up really quickly and I have my olive oil here and this is a uh, half a cup I'm just going to drizzle about half of this in this pan for now And then I'm going to get my green peppers and I sliced up some fresh garlic to go with them. And I'm going to slide them down in this pan. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my seasonings in there. get my spoon out here. It's a quarter teaspoon of thyme. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of the chives. I think I'm lying. I'm going to do a whole teaspoon of the chives. And as usual, I gotta have some heat. So this will be to your liking. And you guys know I don't use uh, a lot of fresh salt. This is garlic salt because it has a quarter amount of the sodium. And garlic anything is all right with me. So now I'm getting my sizzle on in this pan here. 
let's start to mixing this stuff up. Oh, my goodness, already is smelling more than fabulous around here. Okay. I'm going to let this cook just a few minutes longer. Let's get over here and let's look at our catfish fillets, why don't we? It's simmering over here in this butter, margarine. If I say butter, you know I meant margarine. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So I can get them to cook them a little bit more. I'm going to loosen them up. Okay, let that cook some more. These I can turn down to low because they were cooking a little bit too fast for me. And now I'm going to add my chickpeas. And so I got it down really low so that these can go ahead and, and simmer some more. And it's okay, they don't have to keep their um, fullness, their full body of the chickpea. But that should look good. Oh my goodness, because that looks delicious to me. I hope that looks good to you guys. I'm going to turn them up a little bit. Three. So now I'm going to get over here to my catfish. They're cooking nicely. They're white and flaky already, as you see. One of them tore up as I was trying to turn it over. Get over there. Okay, we turn them all and let them cook on this side until they're well done. Can okay, you guys smell that? Mmm, <laughs> that smells delicious to me. So, give me a couple minutes. We'll let these chickpeas simmer a little bit more and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've taken our fish out of the pan. And it's sitting over here waiting uh, for us to hook it up. And by the way, I, I did taste a little bit of it and it's absolutely delicious. And of course, we have our beans right here and our um, chickpea and pepper mixture is still simmering and everything is fine. And what I did was I took that butter um, sauce that was created with the, the margarine that we melted in the pan and set the fish in. So I got that, that fish margarine sauce. And I put it in this little um, pan right here. And now I'm going to take some of my trusty cornstarch. And this is a teaspoon. And I'm going to give it two even teaspoons. It should be enough. And now I'm going to mix it up. And this looks yeah. pretty good. So now we're going to go over here to our pan that I already have uh, warming up. It's uh, supposed to be a non-stick pan. But this is Queen's Humble Kitchen, so it might be more humble than I want it to be. And yes, yes, yes. Thickening. The power of heat. And a little cornstarch. And I'm going to turn this down. And as a matter of fact, that looks delicious and creamy and full. And so I'm going to turn this off, actually. That's good. This is a gorgeous sauce, people. And so now, guess what? It's time to make our plate. We've got our plate and uncover our fish and let me get over here for a second uncover our beans and let me get a new temperature here so, see if I can grab one of these off of here without it falling apart because yes it was that tender and flaky 
and grab a few pieces. Just do them nice and warm. Put them on the plate. And now, take my spoon here and get some of our chickpea mixture. And go ahead and top it. And I'm going to spoon this over our green beans. A little bit more. Okay. And so here's my answer to the challenge of making a dish with um, peppers and chickpeas and green beans. What do you think? Hope you enjoy it.